factory uses a 3x3 space. First, place the conveyor walls as shown. And then cover the rest with walls. Then in the center, in line with the single wall conveyor, place a splitter with the inlet facing it. Place one more on either side close to the wall. Use Mark II conveyor belts to connect them up. Now cover up the floor with foundations. To get to the next floor, place a ladder in the center of the wall with the gate on top. And then place double wall conveyors on the four corners just like the previous floors. Place constructors in line with the sockets away from the boundaries. Connect the sockets with the constructors. Now opposite to the gate, place another gate and two walkway turns to make a platform. Now place walls all around and also add layers of walls two walls high from the first layer. And then cover the building with foundations. Now on the outside, use lifts to connect the bottom floor with the constructors. Back inside, choose which wall to let the items flow. Then change that wall into a single conveyor wall. Then place mergers with the output facing said wall. Use Mark II conveyors to connect as the total output will be 80 plates per minute. Then assign the work to each constructor. For power, place a double wall outlet above the gate along with the regular wall outlet. Connect them to each other and then connect two constructors to the double wall outlet and two to the regular wall outlet. Leave a free connection for the regular wall outlet so that we can connect it with the top floors. Now on the platform, place a ladder to the top and add a gate. Place double wall conveyors on the exact same position we did on the ground floor. Place a gate opposite to the first gate. Place a splitter into one of the sockets and lead a conveyor to the other one. Then in line with that, place another splitter in the center and one more on either side as close to the gates without overlapping. Connect with the conveyors. Then cover up with foundations. On the next floor, place double wall conveyors just like before and a single wall conveyor for the output. Then place the constructors. Place the gate with walkway turns. Add mergers. On the opposite side, replace the wall with a single wall conveyor so that we can bring the rods from the next floor down to join these. Place walls and cover it up. Then on the outside, place the lips to attach to the constructors. Connect power just like before. Now, place ladders and the gate and move to the top. Place a temporary walkway so that you see which side has the double conveyor wall, and then copy it. We're going to bring the rest of the ingots from there. Use a lift to bring it up. Place the four double wall conveyors like before. 
add walls and the gate. In line with the lift, place a splitter in the center of the floor. Add two more to either side. Then connect with splitters. Cover it up. Now just repeat the building process from the previous construction floor. The floor is identical to the last one. But do make sure that the mergers are facing the correct direction. The mergers output should be in the direction of the face of the building that has the lift we last added. Now it's time to add the final inlets and outlets, as well as the other connections that we missed. If you followed the guide step by step, you should have something like this, and a singular conveyor wall on the opposite side. I've color coded the wall just to separate the floors. The first floor is where the inlet for the plate goes. So here you need to connect a Mark II conveyor with 120 iron ingots per minute coming in. The third floor is for the inlet of the rods, so here you want to give 120 iron ingots per minute on a Mark II lift. From here, 60 per minute will move through this lift to the 5th floor to be used for the constructors on the 6th floor. The 6th floor will produce 60 rods per minute which will need to be transferred to the 4th floor. So connect those with the lift. Then on the opposite side, the total 120 rods per minute will come out so use a Mark II lift to bring that down. The second floor is where the finished 80 plates per minute comes out, so you just bring that out pretty simply like this. 